I'm going to explain the ways that I've made money throughout my life and hopefully this can inspire some young boxers out there or some people just in general. I posted this on Twitter and it really inspired a lot of people so hopefully it can inspire you as well. I always remember when I was at school I had a bike tyre and I was throwing it to my friends around the yard and were passing it and this teacher called Mr Williams came up to me and said Tony give me that here. So he took it off us and he said you're going to make nothing with your life and I said to him under my breath I don't know if you heard it I said I'll make more money than you, something like that. And him saying that to me, even though it was like 23 years ago, really motivated me throughout my life. So when I was 10 years old, I started amateur boxing. Obviously you're not making any money from that, but I did get some money off my parents. I was getting pocket money, which was around two to five pounds a week. So that was my revenue as a kid. And then from the ages of 12 to 17, I went into a wheeler and dealer. A bit like Del Boy from Holy Fools and Horses, where I would be buying stuff and selling it. I remember when I was 13 years old, I was making 50 pounds a week on selling Jolly Rancher sweets to the other kids. I would buy them from the shop on the way to school, then I would go and I would sell them for five pence each. And then that turned into chocolate bars, then crisps, anything I would get my hands on, I would be selling. Then as I got a little bit older, to my later teens, I was selling DVDs and I was selling t-shirts, anything at all that I could buy at a lower price and sell at a higher price, I was doing that. Then when I was 16, I won the European gold medal, which put me on a lottery funding program where I was getting paid off the government to help support me box. And that was around three to 500 pounds every three months, which was great when these checks came in. Then when I was 18, I went and got my doorman license, which means I could be a bouncer on pubs and clubs. And that's exactly what I did. I worked in Sunderland and Durham as a bouncer where I was earning 10 pound an hour. And I worked as many hours as they would give me. Some weeks I would work 60 hours a week and getting 600 pound, all while I was training just about every single day as an amateur boxer. And this time when I was 21, I was the national senior champion of England and because I was training full time, I was getting around 500 pound a month from the UK funding. And as well, I was working on the doors on the weekends when I could, and I was getting two, 300 pound then. But I wanted more. I'm an entrepreneur and I always, always want more. So what I was thinking, what can I do on a weekend to earn more money? I'm working on a night time. What can I do on a daytime? So I thought, Mm, I'm gonna buy a catering trailer, a burger van. And that's exactly what I did. So I bought a catering trailer, a burger van, off eBay for £5,000. I would park it outside of the Stadium of Light football ground when there was matches on. And when there wasn't matches on, I would park it outside of a shopping centre. And I was there, I was flipping burgers, trying to earn as much as I could. So with the burger van and then working on the doors as well, I was earning around £600 a week from that, plus me £500 a month off the funding, which was great for me at the age of 21. Then at the age of 23, I qualified for the Olympics and I got put on top funding, which was £2,000 a month. So I packed in work on the doors, I packed in work on my burger van, I actually sold the burger van for five and a half grand on eBay, so I made 500 pound on that. And I focused everything on the 2000 Olympic Games. Then when I come back from the Olympics with a medal, I turned professional at the age of 24. My career lasted around three years before I got forced to retire. Now coming back from the Olympics with a medal was great. You know, I got a big sign on bonus, I got paid lots of money per fight, but it would have been double that if there wasn't a recession in 2008, 2009. But I wasn't complaining because I earned good money and after a full video exactly how much money I earned as a professional boxer you should watch that video after this I talk all about that and my investments as well at the age of 27 28 I got forced to retire from boxing due to hand injuries and this is when I moved to Los Angeles and I start doing personal training I was working in a gym in Santa Monica that was paying me like $10 for three classes sometimes I wouldn't get paid sometimes I was getting $10 a class I was hardly making any money at this place until I left then what I did age of 28 I opened a gym. I invested the rest of the money that I had left off boxing into an empty warehouse in Santa Monica with my friend and personal trainer, Kevin Watson. We call this gym Box and Burn and it was getting busy fast, but the money that we earned from the gym, we weren't taking it ourselves. We were investing that back into the gym because we had an empty warehouse. So we needed to buy equipment. We wanted the gym looking great. And we earned our money from doing personal training. Now at the age of 32, I was earning a little bit money from the gym. I was still doing my full-time personal training. Then I got the idea of teaching people how to teach boxing for fitness. So we created a certification course where we do exactly that. And we're still doing that to this day. And this course, we put it online. And in 2017, when I was, I think, 34, I earned my first ever money online. I had to take a picture of it because 
I'm sitting here eating food on my laptop and I made $150. I could not believe it. I was gobsmacked. How the hell can you make money online? Well, I just did it and that kind of opened my eyes to something new. Then when I was 34, I was starting to build a brand on Instagram, getting a big following by creating free boxing education videos. And I was getting so many questions off people, people asking more and more. And I thought, well, I can help more people, but it's taking so much time and energy and it's preventing me from doing some personal training to create these videos. So why don't I make a package? And that's exactly what I did. I created the world's best boxing drills video package. I created Master Boxing. This is where I teach people how to get better at boxing. Everything I've got in my brain, now I put it on a video and now I can help more people with a paid video package. So at 34, I had the gym, I was doing PT, I had the education program with the Academy, me. And now I have my online video package, as well as the investments that I made from England when I retired from boxing on the other video that you can watch after this one. So now at the age of 34, I've got five streams of income and I'm working absolutely non-stop. And in 2020, age 35, the gyms got closed down due to COVID. So now I couldn't earn money from doing private training sessions. I couldn't earn money from the gym because we weren't bringing any money in. We couldn't do any boxing education courses because our gyms were closed down. And even though I was building a following on Instagram, the big social media platform that I wanted to crack was YouTube. So I had this empty gym in Santa Monica that was hardly getting used. So I thought, I'm just gonna create content in here and put it on YouTube and invest some of my savings into a video editor, a YouTube manager, and that's exactly what I did. And I committed to posting three videos a week. And I was doing this for months and months before I seen anything happen. And all of a sudden, one video, boom, and it took off. I got 100,000 views. Then the next day, I had 200,000. A few days later, I had 400,000. My subscribers were building. People were commenting, saying, how's this guy not got millions of subscribers? These videos are great. I was like, wow. I want to stop the video right there and see, as I've grew my YouTube channel over time, it's helped me get paid by working with great companies like Renew by Science, who are sponsoring today's video. And Renew by Science create great health products, like what I take daily, such as NMN, which I personally believe everybody should be taking. Benefits of NMN are scientifically proven. It improves your NAD plus levels. As I'm sure you know, as we age, we naturally slow down in more ways than one. And this is generally because our NAD levels drop. Memory starts to decline. Energy levels drop. Metabolism starts decreasing, making it easier to gain weight and harder to lose weight. Taking NMN by Renew by Science can change all of this. It energizes the cells in your body, boosts NAD plus levels, which enhances memory, increases metabolism, and improves energy levels every single day. Studies show that people that take NMN feel sharper and concentrate even better. And Renew by Science NMN has liposomal technology, which helps the NMN be absorbed into the body more effectively, meaning you receive all of the great benefits of this. But don't just take my word for it. Do your research on NMN. And when you find out how great this product is, go to renewbyscience.com and use code code boxing and you will get 10% off. And if you don't like it, they will give you all your money back. So click that link below, renewbyscience.com, use code boxing. I'm sure you're gonna love it like I do. Now let's get back to find out how much money I've been earning. The next video I posted, that started getting lots of traction as well. Then I hit the YouTube goal of getting 4,000 watch time minutes to be able to start monetizing your channel. One month later, I start earning around $10 a day and I could not believe it. I was getting $10 a day from YouTube, but then that went up to $15. And I was staying consistent, posting three videos a week. I was paying a video editor and a YouTube manager. So I still wasn't really making money, but I wasn't losing money as well. Then age 36, I was doing my YouTube. The gym opened again. Still wasn't really earning money from the gym because COVID slowed things down. And I was doing full-time personal training. Now with personal training, I did well. I was charging a lot of money to do one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. I had my master boxing package. The academies were back up and running. Now fast forward now, I'm 37 years old. I'm totally hands off with the gym. I'm not earning any revenue from there. Kevin Watson and Kerry Christie are doing that. I've stopped doing private training. We've still got the academy that's online and sometimes in person where we're teaching people how to create a career in teaching boxing for fitness and I'm also focused on the licensing company where we put boxing classes into gyms we're giving gym owners a turnkey solution adding boxing to any gym in the world and then my YouTube since then it's blew up even more I'm getting ad revenue selling merch like this getting sponsorships I can't believe it I left school at 16 with no qualifications and if someone told me my life would turn out the way it has I would say, nah, not a chance. But it has, and it comes down to making your own look, creating opportunities. If there's an opportunity there, grab it with both hands, and not being lazy where I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered to do that. 
No, I went and done it. And everything that I'm doing now is kind of self-educated. I'm putting the work ethic that I put into boxing to have all the success that I had into something else that is now doing good. If you want to see how much money I earned as a professional boxer, click here and watch this video next where I tell you exactly how much I earned. Watch this, click here.